back again to its old time splendor, this year's Lord Mayor's show really was a show, and London gave a big welcome to its favorite pageant. The newly elected Lord Mayor, Sir Bracewell Smith, was in jovial mood as he took the salute, and the procession moved off from Guild Hall. Near the head of the parade were the colorful mass standards of the British Legion. Work and play was the theme chosen for the show, and there certainly was plenty of both to win the applause of the many thousands lining the route. Yes, it's the Cup and its winners, Derby County. This lively band of polo cyclists gave the Lord Mayor a chance to do a bit of neat footwork with the ball. More sports followed, and the swimming girl, gallantly braving the cold in a bathing wrap, got plenty of sympathetic applause. <laughs> On the other side of the picture, the stand workers, the land girls, got a special cheer. And getting nearer home, allotment holders felt that all that digging was really worthwhile. Many sides of service life were on display, including the new and impressive conditions in Monty's new model army. Heading the naval contingent, a huge scale model of the aircraft carrier Triumph got a big hand. Some of the children wondered if there'd be any like that in the shop for Christmas. Now the marching columns of the three services, shared by the people of the city who owe them so much. Lastly, in all its gilded glory comes the magnificent Lord Mayor's Coach, the sight for which everybody has been waiting. <laughs> At the law court, the outward route of the famous drive comes to an end. For Sir Bracewell Smith, the beginning of a new year of office, and for the people of London, the happy return of a dearly loved tradition. father's court long years ago waged so the statesmen told them to end war and then the world embracing greater strife whose shattering detonations echo still through every land and over every sea the hearts of humble folk this day were full two wars we fought there must not be a third Outside the abbey, on Remembrance Field, the winter grass sits crop of homage rays, each one in memory of some man who died, put there by someone in whose heart he lived. Simply unveiled, inscription suitable, tells how the monument enshrines henceforth the memory of fresh legions, curtailed youth, the price this generation paid in full, twice paid, that freedom might not leave this land.
with reverence due that solemn homage paid, eyes to the future, bright with hope were turned. Hearts were uplifted. Men and women all determined that no carnage shall again defoul the face of earth.